which indian motorcycle manufacturer comes in your mind when you think about the word value for money well all the indian manufacturers provide great value for money products but bajaj simply tops the charts as each and every product that they offer packs in a lot of punch for whatever amount of money that product has been priced at take the flagship bajaj for example the domino 400 since its launch has been the definition of value for money i'm repeating the word way too many times but the domina should not be called a domina 400 but the vfm 400 you get that right today i have with me the bs6 version of the domina with me so hey guys what's up i'm shrinigeet you're watching my youtube and shri productions and today let's check out the 2020 bs6 version of the bajaj domina 400 ug let's get started The Domina 400 is unique or let's say iconic when it comes to the overall proportions and the design as no other bike in this category offers such looks with the muscular bodywork fat and shiny USD forks and of course the all LED lighting it is attractive yes but that's not solely because of its looks it's more to do with it being rare on the streets so it's the exclusivity which makes it an attention grabber the fit and finish is actually impressive and on par with the competition and neat touches like the cast rear view mirrors and the side stand give it a premium touch the instrument cluster displays a lot of trip related information but the bottom part is set too low and does not easily come in the vision of the rider and the fact that mounting a tank bed will completely cover it renders it completely unusable let's take a quick glance at the specs then just like its ug bs4 version it retains the chunky 43 mm upside down forks a cast aluminum swing arm and a seven step pre roll adjustable mono shock at the rear Braking duties are carried out by 320 and 230 mm discs front and rear mounted on the same diamond cut alloys short width 110 and 150 section rubber front and rear respectively. It gets the same super heavy but super rigid perimeter frame because of which the bike weighs a whopping 184 kg. Not just due to the frame but it does add up. Mounted underneath is a 373 cc single with liquid cooling fuel injection a DHC setup and typical to Bajaj the triple spark tech. It's made it to a 6 speed transmission with a slipper clutch. After the BS6 update the Domina 400 has lost 0.03 PS of peak power so it now produces 39.97 PS that obviously isn't a very significant amount and you simply won't notice it out on the streets but the peak torque is exactly the same at 35 Newton meters but it now arrives 200 rpms higher in the rev range so has that affected the performance of this beast let's find out let's try the Domina 400 Riding the 400, it feels familiar because it is. The first thing you'll notice is the exhaust note. It's really loud, bassy, and unmistakable for the 400. And the second thing you'll notice is, of course, the weight. Oi, stop crying about the weight. All right, we'll talk about it later. The second thing you'll notice is the crazy pull this bike has. The bottom end is decent. That, along with the slight slipper clutch, helps you to get it off the line effortlessly. But when you ring it hard, 100 kph comes in no time. The mid range is where the major chunk of torque kicks in, pushing you back quite hard. The top end is where the decent vibes kick in, mostly past the 8k mark on the seat and the foot pegs. The gear shifts are slick and precise. Bajaj needs to be awarded for the sort of improvements they have been able to achieve with the shifters in their entire lineup. The suspension, despite being derived from the 390 Duke, has been set up a bit on the softer side, which makes the ride comfortable. That combined with the perfectly padded seat and the absorbent rear shock means long rides without too much fatigue would be easily possible. Exactly what the 400 is made for. Despite having a slightly softer suspension setup, due to the 1453 mm long wheel base, the 184 kg weight and a super stiff perimeter frame, the straight line stability of the Domina is actually on par with ADVs like the Himalayan. Cruising at 100 km an hour, the engine chugs along at a mere 6000 rpm, at which not many vibes are felt. but push it past the 120 kph mark and you will start feeling the buzz on the seat and the tank and the foot pegs 
while I wasn't able to test out this specific BS6 Domina out on the highway, these highway observations are from a previous ride. And yes, it does feel a bit more refined than the previous versions. About the handling, Bajaj has tried to market this bike as a sports tourer. While it does justify this moniker to some extent, the heft along with the long wheelbase means it simply can't be as flickable as some of its rivals. Don't think though that it's just a lazy um, elephant as it still can handle curves with sufficient leans. But quick side to side transitions will require an experienced, a seasoned rider to master. But then no bike can be perfect. And just like most of the other Bajaj bikes, the Domina does not have impressive brakes. The front and rear have decent initial bite, but lack in terms of the feedback and the ultimate stopping power, something Bajaj should have solved in the latest update. The riding posture is super comfortable with a very slight front lean which most of the riders won't even notice. You feel like you're sitting inside the bike and not on top of it. The seat cushioning is perfect. It's not too soft and not too hard with decent room for both rider and pillion. Seat height of just 800mm means riders as short as 5'6 can possibly manage this heavy machine with both feet on the ground. And now let's face it, it is a really heavy bike. So commuting on it in heavy traffic and navigating in the parking lots will get difficult and bothersome for most. But then it's just a matter of getting used to for which you will require a decent amount of saddle time. So the question is, is the Domina 400 worth buying over its orange sibling, the Duke 250? Well, the differences are quite clear. The Duke 250 is more of a city bike which can do occasional highway touring quite effectively. But the Domina 400 is for those hardcore, the dedicated long distance riders who simply don't bother with commuting on such a powerful beast and simply want a very capable highway touring machine. So that's pretty much it from my side. Special thanks to Pagaria Bajaj for providing me the BS6 Domina 400 for a detailed review and also a detailed comparison review between the 400 and the 250. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.